Never mind, the Atari XL is calling. Ring, ring, everybody. It's time for us to go and get us a GM. Come on, Crappy, let's wander over. See where you take us today. That was, that was nice. Well, everybody say hello to our first GM of the day. The one, the only, Novasol? Actually, I don't believe we've had Novasol here before, but I am super happy Novasol is choosing a game today, and I am excited. Look how grumpy Novasol looks. Yeah, debuting indeed. Uh, Novasol should be able to hop into the voice channel when you are able. I'm here, I'm ready to listen. I'm ready to listen to your opinions. To your facts, maybe to your faxes. Hello, Novasol. Hello, bro. I am excited hey. to be on the GM side of this equation. Let's go. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy you're here. You are, yeah. It's your first time giving out a game for Cuso Grande. You look very grumpy, but that's sort of the status quo when it comes to you. I like it. That, that's my, that is a rendition of my face. It is always that. It's pretty. No oh, nose, well, thank though. You. How do you smell without a nose? So Terribly. I have to have my... Ah! Wow, okay. <laughs> I, I was gonna say, well, actually, bro, I have those glands in my mouth, so I just walk around ew, with my ew. mouth open at all Wait, times. Wait, are you like a snake? Oh, I don't like that. Sure, why not? No, no, I don't like it. That's even worse. Okay, no I am so. venomous, so it's either snake or platypus. Well, speaking of Venom, I know that you're dishing a little bit out today, although I think this might be a hurt-so-good type of situation, you know? So, when I was reviewing some games for other GMs, I, I realized something. They're a lot nicer than I am. So okay. I, I kind of went back to my list and thought, what's a little less evil? And this okay. one really stood out to me. It, it is definitely a hurt-so-good. Yeah, I've played, again, a different port of this game, and I actually, I feel like it's a love-hate type of game. I actually loved it. I loved playing it. It, it. it polarizes people a little bit. The arcade version, though, which you're giving out today, mm. is a little bit different. Not too many people know much about it. At least I didn't. Uh, so what game do we have? We have Roadrunner. For the arcade, you actually gave out the NES port in Kuso 2. It was long time ago. It was long time. So this was, version yeah. controls worse. Oh, that imagine. Is... <laughs> so here's the deal. This came out in 1985, and these maniacs implemented full analog controls. That wasn't the solved problem then. <laughs> I love that there's still a command in chat, by the way, for Kuso 3. It, it just makes me laugh. Thank you so much, Karozy, for bringing that up. Uh, but yeah, like, analog controls in 1985, not exactly common. I would agree with you. Yes. Yeah. But we do have four people playing this. I'm really excited to see how they are able to get through this, or if they are. Uh, you'd well, never really know. Yeah. I've given them three credits because I'm a nice person. Originally, oh, I wanted so to make this a, a score attack, but then I realized you can just run in a circle and kill Wily over and over, and that would be boring. I want to see more of the game. So you it's can't completion. can't kill Wily Coyote. That's illegal. I mean, illegal. you can, but he's just replaced by one of his clones. <laughs> he gets replaced by a clone? <laughs> That's kind of yeah. terrifying. I'm go I gotta be honest, you know? Well, I'm uh, currently working on getting all of the streams captured. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. These players will have one hour to make as much progress as they can. If they run out of credits, they'll go back to the beginning. However, they still have set their high watermark and thus will not be able to lose progress by getting game over. Uh, that's something that I like about the way that we do this. You know, that's not how every tournament handles things, but I think it is uh, a good way for a lot of these weird games because while we want the games to be weird and possibly bad, we want the players to at least somewhat feel like they are under control, you know? 
Maybe not completely. A little bit. A teeny tiny bit, you know? I'm not that much. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so Novasol. Uh, since you are new here, I think you should... Well, I mean, you've played on Cusa Grande before, but you haven't been a GM. I feel like people need to get to know you and your style. So what's up? What games are you playing these days? What is going on in life that you are not ashamed to let people know about? Oof, well... Let's start with the games I'm gonna give out. I'm gonna try to mostly give arcade games, because this is actually my Kuso superpower, is you can't really give me an arcade game. There's uh, only yeah. about 80. Out of the entire main ROM set, there's only about 80 I haven't played. Are you serious? Ooh. Yes. I did I mean, an arcade stream for six years, daily, or er, weekly. So the I've weekly. Uh, I, okay. Yeah. So I I've been around the block. I also like a lot of old platformers, stuff like that. So I have some Famicom stuff and some Genesis stuff and all that. And that's always oh. good. I'm a fan of the fam. <laughs> get it? <laughs> fam is the fam. fam. I, I I get jokes. I appreciate yeah. them. Ah, oh, good, good. I'm being <sighs> like, like overly cheesy today. I don't know what happened. What happened? Did, I assume because we don't have a me. rapport yet. You're just defaulting. That, that that is your default state. I'm assuming it's just cheesy like humor. It depends on the day. Like honestly, I usually stray away from that unless like it's either too easy or too clever. If it's like super easy and I can't control myself, I'm just like, it's there. It's there. I gotta say it. I gotta sit and then I say it. I'm like well. Okay, yeah, that's done. Ah, so you understand the conundrum that I often have, where I start saying something, and I realize I'm in trouble halfway through the sentence, so I can either bail out or power through it. Look, you either do it, or you don't. You gotta commit, okay? As I've gotten older, I've started to care less, so... <laughs> yeah, I, I go I... for the power through it option. Well, I mean, I'm, I mean I've, I've done comedy in my life, I've been a paid... Comedian, which is weird. I've, but I've, I mean, but it's kind of what we're, you're doing right I've, now. Yeah, you get somewhat. paid for this. Yeah, I, I get paid for this. I think that it's more like being a paid moron <laughs> on this stream, <laughs> uh, which I, I, I can approve of. I like being a paid moron. Everybody, if you want to pay me for moron and you have Twitch Prime, <laughs> <laughs> then there you go. <laughs> That is totally an option. So right now, I do believe I have all four of these streams open and available. I'm going to go ahead and awesome. make a transition over to them. I do not. I heard a meep meep. Meep meep. I heard it. Meep, You're going to hear that a lot. Meep meep. <laughs> meep meep meep. Meep. Oh, no. Meep 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 meep. That and the William Tell Overture. You're going to be very familiar with that by the end of this stream. By the way, if we have a GM who wants to start a poll, I would love to have somebody do that. By the way, I need to make you a mod in Twitch. Mod Nova Sol. Oh. All of our GMs should I'm promoted. have moderator status because you're cool. That might be That's an oversell. literally the only reason. Eh, cool enough. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? Am I am I overselling it still? Are we about right? Uh, meep, meep. Uh, meep. Glad you you found meeps. that little prime. Yeah, I mean. Oh, that's a happy meep. Meep meep. A uh, meep 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 meep. Oh, can you do a seductive meep? Meep oh, meep meep. Oh meep. <laughs> oh meep. <laughs> My goodness meep. <laughs> Oh no, Body Shoe! I'm so sorry that you Meep. subscribed and then we started talking like this. Gonna gonna revoke you... that right away. I can save it. <laughs> well, no, let people me check like on the, the players. Okay. Look, people love to take me out of context, and I just gave them a year's worth of ammo. 
one whole year. Well, everybody, because this is a game with the Roadrunner, I feel like bird emotes would be great for you to spam. Uh, yeah, if you have else? birds, coyotes, cars, bird seed, coyote seed, boulders. Wait. <laughs> oh no! Rocket okay, boulders, skates. rocks. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all of the players are ready, so I'm doing the countdown. Any spam kind of fireworks. Your emotes. Uh, Pac-Man, he's basically bird seed. Close enough. I mean, I'd eat him. Okay, the countdown is happening. Spam, spam, spam away. And as soon as I see movement in the first stage and hear that overture, we will start our timer. It looks... Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Oh, I forgot about the overture. This is so good. Get used oh, to it. No. Oh, so, um, if the Roadrunner doesn't eat five seeds, he dies. You need to collect all Same. of them. Five yeah. seeds a day. Come yeah, on, so that's you, what you the... can't miss any. Yeah, five seeds a day. Five seeds if a day is what five day, or five seconds long. Yeah, it's like the food pyramid, except it's all just yeah. seeds. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm so excited for this for an hour. Everybody, yeah. William Tell, he was a good guy. I think. I don't know what he did. But apparently he no, got they have... eaten a lot. Okay, so they have three credits, and I gave them three credits because I wanted to see more of the game. Level one's not so bad. Level two... Well, it scales up. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, by the way, we are giving them three credits per attempt. Oh, ooh, 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 we've got the mount. This is Flight of the In Bumblebee. The one. Yeah. Which, by the way, is a pretty fun song to try to play on the piano. You have to get really used to uh, the thumb middle finger movement. So... I cannot stress this enough. This is an analog control game in 1985. It does not okay. control well. By analog, you're meaning that it's got the full range of motion with all the angles, yes. right? You know, so it's not the like four or eight directions. Uh, I mean that it will accelerate you at a relevant pace depending on how far you've tilted it. I don't know if it has full range. I don't think it does. Well, but... Ellipsis Break is making a little bit of a break from the pack right now. We are seeing yeah. Wily e. Coyote on the pogo stick, which, by the way, people who are good at pogo sticks, they are good. Oh. It's impressive. Oh, I tried it once. This is a trackball game initially? Oh, no. Wait, Novasol, this was trackball? Uh, it depends on the arcade. No, some of them do have a stick. It is not a trackball. As the ones I've seen have all had ball, I get scared. I get very scared. So I, I'm still wary, okay? Because somebody said trackball. Yeah. Uh, by the way, yeah, the, the NES part we did have back in one of the very early Cusos. I believe you said Cuso 2, right? Correct. Uh, so Tuso Grande. Uh, the only non Cuso, the Tuso. <laughs> Oh, he's, uh, Ellipsis is on level three. So this is a maze. And you have very little room to evade Wily. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, if you go the wrong direction, Wily mm. just hauls you off. I assume he for, like, the Roadrunner gets caught a lot more in this game than, like, in the cartoons, you know? Oh, no, you're oh, down! No. <laughs> <laughs> you went for the seed. Sometimes like, the seed is a bait and switch, you know. Yeah, part of the part of the strategy is figuring out what seeds you need to ignore and can afford to ignore because yeah, that meter never fills up; it always goes down. Honestly, this is like for the mid '80s at an oh, arcade. It, oh my yeah, god! I would have gone nuts for this. The coyote. Oh, I would have loved yeah, this. Yeah. So if I had given out a score attack, that would have been one of the major mechanics. Is how many times could you kill Wily? Because you get a lot of points for doing it. Yeah, but there's I'm not no, a big fan of do 
Well, I mean, you'd get points, but you'd run out of seed yes. as well, right? Uh, it's so, not based it... on time, I don't think. If, well, uh, no, you're right. You would run out of seed. I was about to say, there's no time mechanic. I guess I didn't notice, because I always went fast enough. I think it's, it's actually not needed. every time the seed goes off of the screen <laughs> is when yeah. it descends on the seed meter. So technically, if you ran around in circles yeah. on a single screen, uh, yeah, you, you would just... Up. Quote, yeah, that was points. Yeah. that was the reason I made this progress was because I didn't want to see that for an hour. This is what's interesting. Yeah, I wonder what kind of seed is the seed like? Because it's just a pile of seeds. Like, do you think we're given uh, like corn? Could be a pile of corn. That's seed. Uh, could be like. Give me some sunflower seed. seed. Sunflower seeds. Just giant oh. pile of sunflower seed. Oh. I feel like most seeds I'm worried about having stuff get stuck between my teeth. Roadrunner doesn't really have teeth, just has a big, ugly mouth. Look at that grin. What a jerk. That's corn all, pops. Folks. Oh my gosh. Corn pops. Corn pops. Yeah. Everybody, we're going to have corn pops as our seed in the game. Roadrunner, you missed a seed. Yeah, I love what how it points it message. out. Roadrunner, Roadrunner, we are so ashamed of you. You freaking moron. This Dude. game demands perfection, and you're letting us down. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, absolutely. Wait, 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 wait. Moron, that's a little bit of a rude word. Uh, What are... What are some of the Looney Tunes insults? Uh, nincompoop. Maroon? Oh, what a maroon. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's the classic. Yeah, I like that one. That's a good butt face. Yeah, they say butt face all the time in Looney Tunes. What a butt face. <laughs> you know, <laughs> everybody knows... Every... <laughs> everybody knows Bugs Bunny's classic phrase, what a butt face. <laughs> Nimrod, that is actually a name from the Bible. Uh, fun fact, if you were a Mormon and got one of the secret names, depending on the day that you went, you could have been gifted with the name Nimrod. Yes, you could be known throughout eternity as Nimrod. Let me just say, I have a friend who's a Nimrod. Uh... He wasn't supposed to say it. You're not supposed to tell anybody your secret name, but yeah, he definitely did not want to say that. <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah, my secret name is Nimrod. <laughs> See, I got a better one. It was Benjamin. I think I went like in the middle of the month. Nimrod was probably like at the beginning. <laughs> is there okay. anything worse than Nimrod in there? Like, I, I don't know the full I spread think here. I Nimrod's about as bad as it got. They removed that because I think too many people were upset about being Nimrod for, eter or Nimrod for eternity, you know? So they're like, fine, mm. we'll go ahead and take Nimrod off the list. However, you're still known as it. It's just future people don't get Nimrodded. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Yeah, welcome everybody so to Cusa Grande, where... Uh, Mormon lore often comes into discussion because woo Nelly. <laughs> what kind of wouldn't this kind of take place around Utah? I just kind of assume this, this is what Utah actually, is like now. Southern Utah looks a lot like this. Yeah, I would say that the majority of what you're seeing here, like arches over at Arches National Park in Southern Utah, mm -hmm. yeah, I'd say this is a Utah game. Yeah. Although you could consider parts of it Arizona, considering that the Grand Canyon is like at the very northern part of Arizona, right near Utah, you're not going to cross or, it, you know, you're not going to get any of the Grand Canyon in Utah, but it's very close. Like, it, all in that area, Monument Valley, Arches, Zions, yeah. So they wah, seem to be getting walled mostly by level two, which is about what I expected to happen. Uh, Ellipsis yeah. has been to level three so far. Uh, honestly, yeah, Ellipsis is doing fantastic. I, I, I think that 
Missing five seeds makes Roadrunner faint. Same. Ellipsis oh, is like, I'm goes. just gonna get a full game over. Let, let's go ahead and die. <laughs> it just runs right into his loving embrace. You know, there is a little bit of a meta strategy. Uh, obviously, the players cannot hear us and they cannot read chat. So feel free to talk about uh, spoilers and strategies if you would like. Mine might be considering how easy it is it to grind early on to get multiple extra lives. Not very. Yeah, because if you can do it consistently. Ah, uh, that's my, more important. My like, so to actually cash in the Wily points, you have to end the level. So mm. it would probably take a long time, and you wouldn't know how many lives you've accumulated in that time until you actually cash them in. Yeah, it would be uh, risky. It would be very I, risky. I would be paying attention uh, because this is a very difficult game. It's an arcade game. Anything yes. that gives you extra lives is something that you should be thinking about. Uh, and if you can, on level one, do multiple things that will get you extra lives later on, uh, then it's something that is worth considering. Uh, it may not be worth doing, but I would still be having that on my mind if so, I were playing this. Here's you know? my logic about this. This game involves a lot of memorization with the maze aspect yes. of it and whatnot. If you're spending that time grinding, you're not learning the layouts of the mazes later. I think getting right. that exposure is going to offset any lives you might have gained. Because all I it takes is one good push. <laughs> it only takes one good push, and the levels are not that long. So if you've got them, the more practice you get on them, the better. Yeah, I actually appreciated the discussion during GDQ uh, when they were playing uh, both... What were, what were the things? Uh, Mario, Mario Maker as well as the Super Mario World ROM hacks. Uh, mm -hmm. What's more important, consistency or the one good push? And it, it's often hard to say, you know, you can hope for the one good push, but remember, you have to actually get that good push. And yeah, that it's... often is a little bit more difficult uh, than anything else. If you know that you're going to be dying over and over and over again and that you're just not good, then figuring out a way to make it consistent for yourself is probably more important. But, you know, if, if you have played and, like, sort of learned a little bit of, like, how to expect something that's coming up that you haven't seen before and how to react to the various Wily uh, Coyote mechanics, like this pogo stick is a little bit easier to dodge. Uh, Absolutely. Wily Coyote on the rocket, a little bit easier to dodge, you know, but you just have to learn how he works. And if you're able to do that, then you might be able to rely on the one good push. Like, it's all, that that's part of the fun that comes to these uh, tournaments, I think, you know, uh, f seeing which strategies end up paying off for which players, because people do tackle them a little bit differently. Uh, Ellipsis, you know, early on has already been going for the, if I have an early death, I'm just going to take game over and that's, get that's back very into smart. it with full lives. I do think that that is a good strategy that is paying off Issa Lemiri on the bottom left by the way doing the same more or less uh you know getting some good Wily Cody dodges running past the boulders but he actually has more lives than ellipsis break which may mean that Issa Lemiri has learned some of the dodges early on a little bit better however this maze this maze is a nightmare absolutely a nightmare Wait till they have to hop across gaps. Oh, however, Ellipsis has actually gotten some good dodges around Wily Coyote in the maze. Uh, it, yeah. It's very difficult to pull off, but you can do it if you yes. have a wider gap, like right there where Ellipsis Break was. So the way to handle that is you go as far up as you can, and then when he gets close, you immediately hold down. And then you can slip past him, even in the tiny... Yeah. Uh, uh, which, by the way, that that's a strategy that I've used for certain ghosts in Phasmophobia in very <laughs> tiny corridors, but 
yeah, it, it's something that, uh, dodging is just as important as learning the maze, uh, because honestly, later on, you will see these levels repeat, and I'm not yes. sure if the layout of the maze repeats or if it changes up later, but eventually you're gonna get to the point where <clears throat> just reacting is as important as memorization. So I don't believe the maze changes, but the location of the seeds do. And they're in harder trunks of the maze. Harder trunks, I like it. Oh, 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 there we go. Good dodge ellipsis. What the crap is his laugh? Why does he laugh like that? Oh, yeah, I think that we... was me. This sounds like <laughs> Tchaikovsky, isn't it? I knew you'd like this game. Okay, like, I can handle William Tell. I just, why would you put this song in the desert? That doesn't make sense. Isn't this from the Nutcracker? This is from the Nutcracker. There are no nuts. It's not Christmas. What the crap? Oh, uh, Ellipsis is past the maze, and he gets blown up! Yeah! Cook Roadrunner. You know... Roadrunner pre-cooked, it's like going and getting one of those uh, rotisserie chickens that... <laughs> I imagine, I imagine that's what it has to be like. As a coyote, I would love that. That's By the way, all, folks. Yeah, coyotes are really cool. They're basically just desert dogs. A lot, they're a lot more skittish, I'd say, than wolves, you know, and coyotes generally are not harmful to humans. They're just a little bit of a nuisance to uh, farm animals, but, uh, you know, most people, they don't really attack people. You're probably going to be fine. Just don't, like, go mess with them, but... If you see your coyote, you're probably gonna be fine. If you see a, a puma, you might have to poo, poo. Okay, I was gonna s make a joke about puma pants, but I was talking in like two people, so poo your pants. That doesn't make sense. Puyo? I mean, it, it if we're talking about sense. like Puyo Puyo Tetris or whatever, that might work. Well, I can never play that game again. Thank you. Yeah, you're gonna poo your pants. <laughs> You play Puyo Puyo Tetris, put your pants, you know, it's so hard. Coyotes are everywhere in North America, says Paul S, and I believe there are quite a few all over. There are a lot in the desert areas. One fun fact, though, uh, that... <laughs> and by fun, I mean, this is going to be a little bit morbid. Population control when it comes to coyotes, the traditional method obviously has been considering them pests and hunting them, and that generally uh, has not worked. Why? Because when they have a coyote pack, they will try, or they will generally try to maintain a specific population level in a certain area. In fact, what has been better is contraceptives and birth control for coyotes. That has managed to help keep populations lower. So, there you go. If you want to help the coyote populations, be sure that you contribute to coyote birth control. Don't forget to have your coyote spayed and neutered. I'm trying to remember. There was... Okay. Uh, we're still in the PG-13 area talking about this. I think somebody did develop a coyote condom of sorts. But I'm not sure. You could say that word. They said it on Seinfeld. It's fine. It's a TV friendly. My mind weeps. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Like, there's some research going on in my university about uh, how to do this. I don't know. Research when it comes to like, out. wildlife population, it gets a little weird. Pull up. <laughs> I, I did not come here today to learn about uh, coyote reproductive habits. Although, you know, maybe, you know what, go for it. Maybe we can have an educational stream. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and say do not look up that phrase on Google. Let me see if I can find, <laughs> like, coyote population control. 
that's gonna be something that does not bring up more questionable stuff. <laughs> You're back from ads? Okay, I'm good. I'm glad. Oh my gosh, thank you. Everybody who uh, is not subscribed and got an ad, you are probably better off than the subscribers at this point. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so, I love it. <laughs> so who's in first? Ellipsis has gotten through this maze and then gotten blown up by a rocket. Uh, everybody else has made about the same amount of progress. I know Third yeah. Tail had a pretty big push in that, that, that maze. So they might be in second place. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, so the, oh, the problem okay. is that coyotes often will have more puppies the more food that's available. If there is less food, there will be fewer coyotes. Thus, if uh, the, the hunting strategies that had been used before uh, by wildlife management essentially made it so that there was more food per coyote and thus they would have more puppies. And so it didn't really work. Uh, and also when, like, there, there's a whole bunch of territory control, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Oh, that was a good dodge on Ellipsis's side. Apparently oh. you can use llamas to fight coyotes. Isalamiri is on the cannons, and he oh has passed gosh. Ellipsis's uh, this high This is mark. impressive. Isalamiri has moved into the lead. Congratulations. Uh, so, for those who are wondering, Isalamiri is also known as Piper. If you've ever seen uh, Piper around in Discord, that is who is playing... Uh, and doing a pretty fantastic job. Meanwhile, Wily e. Coyote just dr using all this TNT, not the most effective use of TNT. Honestly, what you want to do for TNT to have a real impact is to get it into an enclosed area, okay? Right, Drill so it blows all the rock. debris. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just big boom. Oh, that was a good push. So, so honestly, in that what, level, what the coyote should be doing is blowing up the rocks in the background and sending tons of debris <laughs> raining down on the road runner, sort of like a little rock shrapnel. And oh, you'd have to take out there. bits of rock when you eat the road runner. Yeah, ellipsis doing very well. Oh, platforming, everybody loves it. Oh, everybody loves jump? it. Uh, the left hop and the right hop button, they are independent. Oh no. I don't and like that. Ellipsis has remembered there is a hot button. That's good. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and say one of the better ways to protect livestock against coyotes. Llamas. Have llamas. Coyotes don't eat llamas. Llamas eat coyotes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not true. Okay, that's a lie. How do llamas eat coyotes? I think it's more that llamas, uh, llamas are angry, okay? Have you ever met a llama? They are just balls of wrath. Don't get close to one, it I... will spit at you. I can confirm this. So it, yeah. I come from Chattanooga, Tennessee. They actually imported llamas to roam the mountains nearby and eat kudzu. It did not oh work. My gosh. But, but now we have wild llamas in Chattanooga. I love it. Honestly, <laughs> out of all the invasive species you could have, llamas pretty amazing. I love it. Yeah, All llamas right. are angry, and if anything it tries to attack a llama, the llama is going to fight back. Uh, whereas, if you have a sheep, sheep are helpless and dumb, okay? Sheep are like the dumbest animals you've in existence. They're so, so incredibly dumb. They're nincompoops. Oh, you Maroons. can do this! Uh... Oh my gosh, so much seed! 
I'm not sure Ellipsis has realized you can jump over the landmines. Yeah, because he keeps it. going around them. So as it turns out, the game that you all are watching right now, made by Atari Games, uh, honestly, uh, you know, it, it was somewhere between 95 and 96 that it was very uh, much prominent coming out in arcades. The port that was made for the NES was made by Tengen, and honestly, I think that it would have been a fine port and that it would have been licensed if it had been done by anyone other than Tengen. Nintendo was not a big fan of them because Tengen often tried to work around Nintendo's rules. Well, the uh, reason and... for that is Tengen was a publishing arm founded by Atari specifically to publish unlicensed games. So uh, yeah, they... and I imagine, you know, if they can steal a little bit of the pot away from Nintendo and not pay licensing fees, I guess I'll do yeah. that, yeah. But honestly, the, the NES port, I had a lot of fun with that, you know? Yeah, I, it's honestly a pretty faithful port. I think now that you've talked about the controls for this and how it's fully analog, it might have actually been, like, more playable. <laughs> I, do, I have played both. The controls on this are worse because... Uh, you know how the Roadrunner can just stop on a dime in the cartoon? It doesn't really work here. Well, yeah. Oh my gosh, one of the programmers, in fact, the main pro producer for this game also was one of the programmers for Xena Warrior Princess on PS1. Let's go. Ooh. Best game in existence. I love that. Oh, I love seeing that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's why this game is so good. I could tell someone was typing in Discord by a break. Uh, yeah, Bad Chop hates this coyote. And I can't blame yes. you, Bad Chop. Like, Bad Chop, here's the deal. Bad Chop has been around in Cusa Grande for a long time. I'm not sure if he's ever been able to move out of group stages to the bracket. And that's fine, you know, there are plenty of people who come here who, uh, you know, know that they aren't the best at necessarily doing blind mm -hmm. races, but they are here for the fun and to experience something new. And honestly, most people are not going to play this unless somebody throws it at them. And uh, that's sort of what we've got. Can you get the free lemonade that's in the background, by the way? Uh, I want the you lemonade. Can. Wait, I think what? you can. No, I think it's the Mary keeps running off. Uh, these very, uh, precocious, not precocious, uh, precarious, that one. It could be precocious, you know, I would flirt with that rock. Hey, little rock. Hey, giant rock. Not little rock, that's in Arkansas. Hey, big rock. How you doing? Hey, calling it big rock. It's coming Ellipsis on strong. asks if there is a button to reset without having to waste all their lives. You can go ahead and answer that if you would like in Discord. However... Uh, not that I know of. I think you can set one. I usually just reload the ROM, but that's slow. Yeah. Let me take a look. I got the game right here. Mames UI is not very intuitive, so I, I get it. <sighs> yeah, uh, considering that reloading the ROM does take extra time, uh, I can understand them wanting a faster way to do it. But if there are no tools in the arcade, which honestly, arcade games are not really made for you to be able to just hit a reset button. Uh, yeah, so I, I wouldn't be surprised if there just isn't an option to restart. Three. It's F3. F3? Okay, you may tell them, but I would suggest adding all of the players. Uh, just so that all of them get the same information, right. if you would like. One second. <sighs> yeah, that's kind of important to know for uh, saving time. I did not think of it ahead of time. Uh, it's all good. You know what? Uh, it is 
good information and I support giving uh, like something like that is helpful information to provide uh, if they ask for it. However, we generally don't try to give information about how to beat certain sections of a game. I don't oh my think gosh, it would help them the with this game music. anyway. Yeah, like, what are you going to say? Don't get caught? Oh, yeah. Oh. Don't I miss I any birds, Steve. Already. Everybody get dancing. Oh, no! The no. dynamite on the third tail. The third tail is making a really good push here, though. Yeah, this is one level below Ellipsis's high mark. And honestly, the, the the dynamite's not too difficult to dodge. Most Wily stuff you can avoid just by running in circles. Yeah, the biggest thing, just don't run straight. You know, do do some movements. Uh, it seems Serpentine. like... Serpentine! Essentially, he tries to throw it at the location that you're going to be about Correct. half a second after he throws the dynamite. So Yeah, he leads his shot. Adjusting so just your speed. Yeah. Right. You can even <laughs> juke him by using the analog stick to go a little slower and then speeding up, because that throws off where he's going to toss the dynamite. Yeah. By the way, one of the people who made this was also a support programmer for the arcade classic Tubin. Uh, I, all, I, I've considered giving out the arcade version of that, just, uh... Honestly, I'll, I think that as long as it's not Game Boy Color, it's kind of playable. Mm -hmm. I, I like Tubin. Uh, but Game it's Boy not Color... Bad. I think like, the not, arcade that's a lot cabinet had a weird control scheme, though, so that would be an issue. I have a time getting everyone set up today, because this has non-standard controls. Yeah. Uh... As far as I can tell, the guy who worked on this did not work on the Game Boy Color version of Tubin. Thank goodness. So, I'm, I'm happy about that. Thank you, Greg Rivera, for avoiding the Game Boy Color. For a second, I thought I was looking at support. Probably people who worked on uh, making sure the game ran and possibly doing a little bit of QA. I thought I saw Paul McCartney, but it, no, it was Pat McCarthy. Maybe Paul McCartney's brother who worked right, on it. So, Ellipsis is a new personal best. Very nice. By the way, that guy also did hardware design and implementation for Clax, a game that I have heard a lot about, and I don't know. I feel like I might have played a little bit of that, huh? Yeah, it's... It's kind of laid out like Guitar Hero is, except it's blocks coming down the line. I think that's Clax. Uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah, not bad. Like, having sort of a non-Japanese almost rhythm game at that uh, era, that's a little interesting, huh? Well, I just watched a player just go into the corner and accept death. That's that's what happens to me, like, on my bad days, you know, just when my stomach really hurts, I go into the corner, sort of lay there. Right. It's like, if a coyote comes and eats me, then so be it. So be it. <laughs> All right. By the so, yeah, go oh, ahead. Oh, sorry. Nah, I was going to say, for placement, I believe it's Ellipsis in first, Isalamiri in second, Third tail in third, and bad chop in fourth. He's having a lot yeah. of trouble with the maze. I've noticed. I don't blame bad chop. Like, uh, no, not at all. Honestly, I think the biggest part is that bad chop keeps getting hung up on some of the uh, odd pieces of land jutting out. If it if it were for if controls were a little bit smoother and it was harder to get stuck on pieces of earth, pieces of earth. What the crap? Uh, if, if it was hard to get stuck, then I think Bad Chop would just fly through this, but uh, it takes a very special type of uh, thinking in order to be able to get through these twisty turns and not get hung up. Yeah. I honestly think the section that Bad Chop keeps getting tripped up on is the hardest part of the game. Yeah, if Bad Chop can Once... get through that, I think that yes. we may see a sudden burst of progress. Uh, East Salamiri, by the way, going across the rickety bridge mm. and getting a and... game over there. Oh, by the way.
by the way, I I should share my screen with you. That way you can like actually watch live <laughs> lined up with me and not have to so... listen to the William Tell overture. <laughs> yeah. Things I do Thank for you. you, you know? <laughs> You're such a great buddy. I'm trying, I'm trying. Yeah. But honestly, I'm thinking for 1985, this would have been so much fun. Oh, I would have loved this back in the day. Because this would have been contemporary with, like, Gauntlet. It was kind of, in a lot of ways, their golden age for that kind of game. Yeah. And... Like, this this just looks and plays so fluidly when you actually get used to it. It's, it's hard to do that, but... Once you've got it dialed in, it's a ton of fun to just see how far you can get. For my personal record, I got to round nine in an hour on these conditions. Not too shabby. Okay. By the way, I'm, I'm taking a look. Apparently there was some group, Dragon Magazine, that reviewed this game. I'm, I'm going to go and see if I can find their review. They gave it a three out of five stars, which... Honestly, not sure if I agree with. It's not three out of five, but it has Great. its charms. Why is this talking about monotheism? I want to find your Roadrunner review. What? I don't know. Central Ca Heroes of Le I don't know what I'm reading. I'm thinking it's mostly about like tabletop RPGs, but maybe they reviewed Roadrunner as well. Ow. Well, no wonder if they like tabletop RPGs, they're not going to like this. Yeah, this is the D&D &D magazine that reviewed Roadrunner. Can you believe it, everybody? <clears throat> now I want to see character sheets for these two. I want to. Oh, my gosh. Anybody, uh, can you make me a D&D &D character sheet for Wile E. Coyote and or Roadrunner? I'd be more interested in seeing the art, got to be honest, but, you know. Important as well. So, yeah, now. Oh! Oh, Bad Chump got rescued by a boulder. That's a thing that could happen. Yeah, I actually love that, like, if you get really lucky, the game can just save you. It's. Yeah, you can get rescued. There need to be more games like that. Like, it, it's fun. You can actually use that to your advantage with certain traps because Wily always just runs straight to the right when he catches you, so you can set him up for. Getting smacked. Yeah. Okay, let's see. 70 pages 74 through 79. Somewhere in here is going they're gonna be talking about Roadrunner. Where is it? Who made this? Atari? Atari, Atari yes. Okay, at, not accolade. Mindscape, not Sega, not New World Computing. Datasoft. Oh no, they have some data soft <laughs> reviews. All of those have to be like one out of five. There's only one way to find out. I'm gonna read all that. <laughs> I need pictures. Why don't they use more pictures in here? Come on. There, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Those are pretty good, Turtle. No, no, I'm looking for Roadrunner. Where's Roadrunner? Oh my gosh, I'm going nuts with this music. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say that Public domain music is completely fine. You can use it. In fact, I would say that more modern games, you know, go ahead and just, like, if you're doing an indie game, making something by yourself, just throw in a MIDI track from the 80s and everybody will love it. Yeah, anything public domain, just throw it in there. Why not? I fully support it. However, if you are a big company making an arcade game... I guess in the 80s, you can go ahead and do that as well. That's fine. But, uh, not now. Oh. Bigger companies, just make your own tune, please. Well, see, the thing is, it's actually extremely on brand for this IP in particular, because they did use a lot of those. Yeah, Looney Tunes did use a lot of classical yes. music. Uh, definitely. Okay, never mind. I'm... <laughs> I fully support this, never mind. Whatever, and you know, a lot of this music, thinking about uh, some of the indie games that have come out recently that made good use of old classical music, 
uh, oh, what's it called? By Ed, the Edmund, the guy who made Binding of Isaac. He made, uh, the... It's a really hard platformer. It's not Meat Boy. Uh, it... I had to cut you off. I knew you were going to say Super Meat Boy. No. I yo, thank you. The end is nice. <laughs> yeah. That game ah. is... I would say that I like that more than Super Meat Boy. And it has amazing renditions. Uh, often a sort of more of a rock style when it comes to classical music. If you have not listened to the soundtrack for The End Is Nigh or played it, it's one of my recommendations, especially if you like difficult platformers. I adore that game. That sounds right up my alley. Yeah, you should give it a shot. Oh yeah, you play a lot of platformers, huh? Oh, I absolutely do. I, ha I They very nearly got one today. I mean, and... there's a little platforming in this. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. let me tell you, if you think this music's annoying... I think you might have just never wanted me on again it's if I gave happy. the other game. It's too happy. Like, that that's my only problem with Tchaikovsky. You know, it doesn't... Be this does not belong in a video game. Too happy. We're talking about murder here, okay? Every time you get caught, that's murder. I mean, we don't know what he does with the Roadrunner. I mean, he clearly doesn't eat them because he thinks they taste like papaya. And various other things. You don't like papaya? So, oh, I'm saying he doesn't know what a Roadrunner tastes like. I don't think it's I mean, papaya. I don't think they taste like papaya. Exactly. Probably I don't, just So I'm saying chicken. that when he... Yeah, so when he catches them, he's clearly not eating them. I think he just takes them back and lets them try again, because he's nice. He's put out all this bird seed for his friend. Yeah. By the way, I'm taking a look at the source that talked about the review that gave this three out of five. I'm not seeing this anywhere. I think that the Wikipedia article just lied. Go Google uh, something just so you I'm understand looking. the reference. Okay. <laughs> Okay, never mind, it is here. But they list it under Mindscape. Oh, they reviewed the Commodore 64 version and gave it three out of five, okay. And they complained that it's repetitive. It was Commodore 64, have you played a Commodore 64 game, you nerds? Oh my gosh, no, eh, I'm too busy RPing. Uh, I gotta take care of my elf warlock, uh, whatever. I'm here for Roadrunner. Then again, Roadrunner was $35 when it was released on the Commodore 64, so a little bit of a high price tag, I'd say. $35 freaking dollars for a port of this game. For a home port? It's a premium product. By the way, I do not see it saying three out of five anywhere in this article. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that they just, oh no, they have three stars next to it. Fine, whatever. Mm. They gave it three stars. Say three out of five, just three stars. What did William Tell even do to deserve this song? I mean, maybe he missed the apple. Killed his son? That's not very nice. I mean, <laughs> trying to think, do we have any other, like, songs about people who accidentally shot their son? I don't think so. I mean, ugh. I I'm mean, not a music person. There's... Well, I'm, I'm just thinking, like, if you go into old Greek stories, there's the guy, uh, Homer, I think, who, when he returned home, saw that uh, all of these men were with his wife, and he, like, threw multiple javelins through all of them, mm. and that was... Oh my gosh, the movie is intense! Like, one guy get he gets a javelin thrown up through him, and he gets pinned in a wallet. This is like the 1970s uh, type of film. So, you know, that was shocking for that era. Oh, that might have been Odysseus, yeah. Uh, Homer told the story. Whatever, Homer probably threw a few javelins in his time as well. 
I'm just imagining the soundtrack that would have for the 70s. Probably <laughs> just played glorious. William Tell's Overture as he murders everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so we're it. getting to the home stretch. Let's yeah. See if we can have some big pushes. Yeah, sorry, Novasol. This is this is what I'm like. I get distracted by everything. No, it's cool. This I'm is... a bad conversationalist, so if you will fill dead air, I am more than happy. No, you're fine. You're, you're doing great. Uh. Honestly, it sounds you know, so this, snide this when you say it like that. Oh, you're doing <laughs> so great. <laughs> I mean, I can't give you too much praise, you know. Then you'll be too cocky. I, I can promise you, like, you right that will never be an the issue. Right level of cockiness, but also humble. You know, that's my goal here. <laughs> so for literally every single match I've had in Kuso, I am always would type in chat. Well, I've already lost. That is the mindset I have. <laughs> You're not even playing this time. <sighs> yeah, but I like this game. So in its own way, it's yeah, a I kind like of music. loss. No, no. I, I actually think that uh, whoever comes in and talks to us, I, I'd be willing to make a bet. They will say that they liked the game. Oh, absolutely. Although they might never want to hear this song again. I think they'll, they'll all like the game. Yeah. Like, we've seen it a couple of times. We've actually had a full loop. So when you uh, loop back to level one, it adds a bunch of landmines. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's so satisfying about that, but everything, it's just good. Meep, 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 meep. Oh, meep, meep Every your time. <laughs> meep, meep, meep. Hey, meep, meep, meep. Mm. Meep, meep. Meep, meep, meep. 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 Oh, meep. Shut up. Stop it. <laughs> Is there. <laughs> I know meep. the NES version has a dedicated meep, meep button. Does the arcade one have that too? Not that I know of. We were it's just every time meep. you hop. Every time you hop, he meeps. Oh, so that is the dedicated meet meep button. Ah, the third tail has the warp to level four, by the way. Ooh. Yeah, so when you die, it sends you back to level one, but you can walk through that door to continue. By die, do you mean get game over? Yes, yes, sorry. When you run out of lives, you get to go back to where you were. Okay. That's actually extremely kind. I hope everybody has been using that. They have been. Yes. Good. Hey, Ellipsis on to level five. Yep. And he's gotten pretty me, far me, in me, level me, five. Me, 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 But I don't me, think he's completed me, me, me. it yet. Oh, he almost fell for the truck every time. Oh, two players in level three players. No, two players in level five. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Bad Chop has actually made a lot of progress. I'm very impressed. Like, Bad Chop is one of those players who, despite running into a lot of walls and struggling, uh, always comes back and keeps trying, and I very much appreciate that. Seriously, he, he's doing a fantastic job. He got the level three maze down pretty quickly. Yeah, burn him up us. Yeah. Uh, so I, unfortunately, Bad Chop does not have the warp unlocked yet. Uh, and that gives the other players a significant advantage over Bad Chop. But that said, that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. If you get a password, if you get something that is a significant advantage, then, you know, what can you say? How it is. Wow. This has been quite a feat trying to keep track of all of this. So uh, I believe Ellipsis is in first at the moment. With Isalamiri second, third tail, third. If anyone has uh, seen something I haven't, please let me know. Yo. Yo. Everybody eat your... 
You would you wouldn't want your your roadrunner to go to waste, right? Lips is on level six. Oh, he's on the second loop version of this. <laughs> <laughs> There are certain places Wily can't go on the screen in this section, so that makes it pretty manageable. My gosh, the gulping sounds, it's so good. I think our players have even encountered the buckshot trap. Where if you eat bird if you eat the wrong seed, you can be attracted by a magnet. <laughs> yeah, whatever, Roadrunner. We know you, Meep. You're all about the Meep Meeps. All about the Meep Meeps. The Moops. Okay. Thing in Seinfeld now. So I've got Seinfeld on my head because I've been watching a lot of episodes lately. I think I've always meant to watch. I never got around to it. You should sometime. It's good stuff. I have a very boring night job. I have no reason not to. Can I ask what your job is? Is that something oh, that I, you... Oh, absolutely. I work overnights at a data center, and I work 12-hour shifts. Not much happens in a data center at night, so I can kind of just sit around playing games like Roadrunner. Oh. To my heart's content. Terrifying. Ah. <laughs> I actually got paid to play this video game. Did they know that? No, but they don't care. It's for the best. I mean, if they knew I was the kind of lunatic who could handle this, they might pay me more. Ooh, ooh, you know what? You should, sh maybe you could show it off. Be like, hey, everybody, you want, you want to know what the best thing is? Roadrunner. Yeah. For the record, don't put your Cuso Grande performance on your resume. They won't care. I'll care. Okay, well... <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Yeah, it's, it's up to you, everybody. If you want to put... I'll, I'll also go ahead and echo probably not the best idea, but whatever. I'm not your boss. It also depends on the resume, you know? If you're applying to work at Atari, you could go ahead and say, Beat Roadrunner Loop 8. And they'll be like, holy crap, we didn't even know people played that anymore. I mean, I'd imagine for the uh, qualifications for an entry-level Cusa Grande position, we'd be pretty low. We let anyone in. <laughs> oh, yeah. Meep, 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 My name is Roadrunner, I meep and I meep. Meep, 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 meep. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I love the spam. It's so good. Thank you so much. So I, I wanted Go to give ahead. this game out thinking there's a pretty good chance bro will just despise the William Tell Overture by the end. You know what? I I can complain about it, but out of all the pieces of classical music, that one's not too bad. Like, it makes me think of the Animaniacs president, president song, George Washington was first. You see that he wants to chop down a cherry tree. President number two would be then John Adams and then number three. Thomas Jefferson stayed up to write the Constitution late at night, and he and his wife had a great big fight. Blah, 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 blah. You know. 
I, I wish I knew the rest of the words! Blah 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 sums it up well. Yeah, well, nobody really cares about, like, Presidents 4 and 5. They're kind of very boring. What did they do? Thomas they Jefferson, just kind of existed. John Adams. Uh, yeah, there was James Monroe, and then John mm -hmm. Quincy Adams. Yeah. I was an American Studies major, okay? I majored in American Studies. That's what my degree was in. And so, uh, even I don't care about them. <laughs> Seriously, little pompous boys. Running around, probably wearing cravats or something. They're like, uh... Uh, we want to be fancy, but, you know, Look, not British. If I could get away with a cravat, I would wear one every day. Really? Oh my gosh, You're Bad fancy. Shop, making it to level 5! Yes! Oh. This is huge. This might actually be a comeback if Bad Shop can hold on to it and make some progress here. That is great. Bad Shop would have to pass Third Tail, because Third Tail has made more progress in the level. We'll have to keep an eye on these two. Oh, the landmine! No! Meep meep. Meep meep. William Tell, I don't think he even existed. I think he's made up. Anyone want to fight I would hope me? so. <laughs> I would hope he's made up, otherwise he probably murdered a kid. Honestly, though, uh, in that era, people were so bored that, like, standing up against a tree and having an, an arrow shot at you, that was what you did for fun. Well, I mean, if you kill the kid, then you get to make a new one. I'm sure what? they would have appreciated I'm not making sex. kids. It's sex. Well, you're not. Oh my god. You're not. Oh my gosh. Whoa, we talked about coyote procreation. Now we're talking about real. I... Well, are you a coyote? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Not. Although I have a Maybe friend one day. whose username is Brian Coyote and. I'm trying to think. I don't think he's playing in this Kusa Ground. I haven't managed to trick him. I need to trick more of these furry friends that I have into suffering. But they don't listen to me. They're like, oh yeah, haha, I'm glad that you have a show, ha. Huh? Oh, That's just make great. them play Altered Beast. Then they don't play. Oh, no, no, no. I, they would like that. That's the problem. That's how you bait <laughs> them in. Yeah, or, no, Wolf Child, that's another one. Unfortunately, I actually had some of my friends start running that after uh, some of the Kusa Grande matches that we had. I'm like, dang it. No, now I just want to give out some it. of the... I'm like, got another one. We got another one. I want furries nope to suffer. To I want everybody to suffer, Kuchiri, okay? That is my prerogative. Now I'm going to have to give out werewolf-themed games. Surprisingly, that's a genre in my list. That was sort of more Xandra's thing. Xandra was like, let's go ahead and do werewolves or Mega Man. Sometimes Mega Werewolves. Sometimes Werewolf Mans. Weremans. Actually, Wereman would be really boring. It's just like Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. That's a Wereman for you right there. I don't think Bad Chop has, has passed Third Tail, but it was close. I. <sighs> I know we've seen Ellipsis make it to round seven. I'm just trying to figure out the order here since we are almost done. Okay, I need to stop humming these tunes. They're stuck in my head. Whereas Waldo is a wearman game. <laughs> Shut up, chat! Chat! Oh yeah. my god. Okay, we just need meeping and we need somebody to, uh, like, who, who's winning? Is it still Ellipsis in the uh, lead? Yes, or Esau Amiri, I believe it's or... Ellipsis, Isalamiri, Third Tail, and Bad Chops. Yes, Bad Chops could make a good push, possibly. I, 
don't I, think there's enough time. Yeah, it's actually very close to the wire. I think Bad Chop, unfortunately, is locked into fourth place. Uh, although he had a very good, solid final push. That's the type of push that you yeah. want at the end of a match. Bad Chops like, was very close to overtaking that, but couldn't quite make it. Yeah. <sighs> By the way, chat, yeah, if I manage to yell at you, uh, and not ban you, then you've usually done a good job, so congratulations, Brutask, thank you for, uh, thank you, the Manny Q, for giving Brutask that gift subscription, but also, I can't believe you. <laughs> I can't believe you, I love you. Great. Oh, we're at the end. 15 seconds left. I can't wait to hear what they have to think about this. Well, everybody, throw your hands in the air. This has been a fantastic match. I have very much enjoyed it. And that is time. Oh, you can breathe. Yeah, ahead, I don't think the order changed. So it would be Ellipsis Break, Isalamiri, Third Tail, and Bad Chop, and that order. I believe so. I think that it would be worth asking them what, you know, just to verify just to what they sure. believe their personal bests are. But I believe so. Let me go ahead and welcome Ellipsis in to chat. Yeah, we usually invite the person who took first to come and talk about their experience to see what they think, usually because the person who comes in first is a little bit more forgiving of the game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, feel free to uh, tell them what you believe the order is, and I'll go ahead and bring Ellipsis in and start chatting. Hello there, Ellipsis, and congratulations. We believe you took the victory. Hello. Congratulations, you did what so did well. I was expecting it to be. I love hearing that. It's addictive, isn't game. it? It's so like, good. I, I mean, the maze in level 3 is terrible, but other than that... <laughs> yeah, level 2? Honestly, that's the hardest part of the level game. Level 3. Level 2, the, the the pogo stick and the rocket aren't that bad once you figure it out. The pogo stick part is surprisingly generous. Mm-hmm. It's, it's like the... The, the bird seed is way more precise than I'd like it to be, but I think that yeah. same logic also applies to the pogo stick part, and it works in your favor there. I would agree with that, yeah. Uh, the coyote has a very hard time actually getting you, uh, which is great. Also, like, as long as you aren't moving in one single direction the entire time, uh, you know, uh, actually thinking a little bit and moving around, then usually you can sort of bait the coyote to go where you want. It, it gets a little bit tricky in the maze, but other than that, yeah, you the, definitely... The, the maze, the maze is yep. the worst part. Like, yeah, so... before I started doing reasonably well there. Yeah, it's so easy to just get caught on everything. Yeah. Because oh. we noticed everybody was struggling with that. Yes, yeah, speaking of yeah, which, how uh, close was is definitely I, I saying... had, At the end, oh. I had absolutely no idea how I was going to actually do. What I, I got to level so, six. What was the... I believe you got the... Yeah, six. Uh, Isal Amiri got close to where you were. He was, so it was one level there. behind you. Yeah, I, I was having probably my best run at the very end when time ran out. I was kind of disappointed that I didn't make it to level seven. I was worried that would cost me it, but I, I guess it worked out. Yeah, well, with games like this, because you start over so many times, really, all no. it takes is one good push in order for you to take the victory. So I can understand that worry. But at the same time, you know, if, you, if you've got that in your mind, everybody is probably thinking the same thing. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, that's yeah. very true. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I was very impressed with how everybody did, and, like, uh, Bad Chop even had a very great push right towards the end and almost moved, uh, out of fourth into third, possibly with a little bit better push, could have even been second, but I don't think anybody had too much of a chance of passing you just because of how great you were doing. Yeah, yeah that's a pretty high bar to set. Oh yeah. Well, once you get to the repeat, uh, the loop, and you start getting all the landmines, it's really impressive to get as far as you did. 
honestly. Well, that, that's nice to hear. I actually wasn't sure about that at the time, but... Ha -ha. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so I, I wanted do... to pick a game with lots of turnover, so you get lots of chances to make progress. Yeah, I think that that ends up being a really fun watch, in my opinion. Uh, and, you know, there there is room for games that, you know, uh, people make consistent progress, but having those where you just go back to the beginning over and over and over again often can lead to last-minute lead changes. So, yeah, you were right in thinking, I gotta make this last push count. Uh, with that said, I have to ask you, do you feel like this fits in Cuso Grande? Because you said that you enjoyed it. Well, it wasn't as bad as I thought, but I did not enjoy the maze. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that the game is, like, flawed but fun. Yeah. Uh, is more or less what I would say, yeah. And yeah, I don't it's, think it's I would give this... reasonable. Yeah, I don't think I'd give this out past round one. I wanted to not brutalize people too quickly. Maybe a little bit, yeah. But not too much. You gotta gotta be a little bit kind. I feel like for a round one pick, this is pretty much perfect, oh, yeah, the, you know? The, it's, the, yeah. the attract mode, the demo thing on the title screen says, beware of steel shot and bird seed. Is it just yes. me, or did that never happen? It happens later. You didn't reach it. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, as it turns out, every loop, uh, because there are only, I think, four distinct levels, and then when you get to level five, it goes back to level one with more mechanics. I think the car yes. showing up and running you over uh, was the big new mechanic in level five. Well, that, uh, so, so the cars the cars were in level one, but there yeah, were some landmines all over the place. Yeah, they add more landmines. That's the, Yeah, it just oh, keeps adding okay. stuff like that. It never ends. It just I'm, continually I'm sure harder. if I had got to the, the next level after where I stopped, I'm sure the maze would have had a lot of landmines in it, and it would have been completely Oh, it terrible. does. <laughs> it does. Yes. Yeah, well, thank you so much, Ellipsis. I had a blast. I'm really glad that you were here uh, and that you managed to do it well. You get 10 points in this round. The second place gets seven, third, five, and fourth gets two points. Now, none of the players from today are out, but the person who took fourth, unfortunately, Bad Chop, will have a little bit of a harder time staying in, but that's fine. If you do well in your next match, then you can make it all the way to the bracket. So we'll, we'll have to see how match two goes. Ah, thank you so much, that's Ellipsis. That's and know mm -hmm. this all, I very much appreciate this game. Both of you take care. Have oh, a wonderful thank you for rest me. of your day. Yeah. yeah. Okay, till later, bye. Bye. Bye.